The United States sends switchblade drones to Ukraine as part of the Biden administration's new $800 million weapons package. The package will include 100 tactical unmanned drones, which U.S. officials speaking on condition of anonymity say are switchblade small suicide drones that explode on impact. What exactly do we know about this flying weapon and what difference can it make in the war in Ukraine? Welcome to another episode of Military Tech as we discuss the United States suicide drone. Drones that crash into their targets represent a new phase of U.S. weapons in Ukraine, which have mostly been anti-tank and anti-aircraft weapons to date. The Switchblade is a tactical flying drone with an explosive inside. These are light weapons that will help find or attack nearby enemies. As it is equipped with real-time GPS guidance, it can be flown until the moment it crashes into the target it has been aimed at. Switchblades are available in two sizes, namely Switchblade 300 and Switchblade 600. Both Switchblades can be carried by one person, though, the weight difference is substantial. A Switchblade 300 weighs just 5.5 pounds and can easily be carried in a backpack. With the Switchblade 600, the missile weighs 33 pounds and the transport components are even heavier and are armed with an anti-tank warhead. The Switchblade 300 can hit targets over 6 miles away and can fly 15 minutes in total. A Switchblade 600's range is 25 miles or its flight time is 40 minutes. Additionally, the Switchblade can receive targeting data from other drones allowing it to follow and find selected targets. Unlike other drones used only for reconnaissance, the Switchblade 300 carries a small explosive payload that detonates on its target. Aerovironment is the company that manufactures these drones, and it describes them as tactical missile systems, which kind of explains their dual roles. That is the role of being a scout machine and an attacking weapon. Formally they are called a loitering munition. When they first got tested they were commonly referred to as either kamikaze drones or suicide missiles. Ukraine may be able to build on its success in targeting Russian armor on the ground by deploying even smaller, but even more deadly unmanned aerial vehicles. The small switchblade drones differ from the Bayraktar TB-2 and some United States long-range Predator drones as they are not armed with a rocket. Rather the switchblade can loiter overhead like a traditional drone, but then use GPS to guide itself like a missile straight into the target where it can detonate its payload. What sets apart the switchblades from the rest of the UAVs is their self-destructive capability. During the Ukraine crisis, loitering munitions have been used minimally, with Russia using the Zala for surveillance as well as for attacks on soft targets. However, the use of the Turkish TB-2 has been mostly used by Ukraine forces with great success. The Aerovironment switchblade, on the other hand, could soon be a weapon in Ukraine's arsenal, which would be bad news for Russian tanks. Loitering munitions are particularly appealing since they are relatively inexpensive, both in terms of cost and performance. Each unit costs $6,000 to purchase. The weapon was initially used by U.S. Special Operations Forces in Afghanistan, but it was immediately adopted by the Army and Marine Corps, which saw its potential. We end here and hope you enjoyed the video. Please, like, comment, and subscribe. Let's meet in the next video.